All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is go ahead and start creating our menu or a small menu for our in-game uh, actions, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do pretty much similar things I did in the main menu. We're gonna do it all here. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and create a canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and do that there. All right, and then within that canvas, I'm just gonna double click the canvas to bring us out. And then I'm going to create a panel within that canvas. Okay. And so we have that there. And then within that panel, I'm actually going to create another panel. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and put some text inside that second panel that we made. So I'm going to go UI text match pro. All right. Perfect. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, what I might do is actually take this text and move it into this panel here. Okay. So inside this panel, I have a text, which is going to be a, like a, like a header. And then this panel is going to hold my buttons. Okay. So I'm going to move that above that. And then let's go ahead and zoom in on the text and let's go ahead and get our scene set up. So I'm going to go click on this. So we see that. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll just go ahead and rename this text to say header. Right. Or we can just call it menu. All right. And I'll just go ahead and center that. And I'll bring that up here just like so. All right. Perfect. All right. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and change this background. So I want to change it from white to uh, maybe like a darker color and uh, make it less uh, transparent. All right. Cool. All right. And so now what I'll do is I'll click on this panel and make sure you have your rec tool selected. You want to go ahead and bring that down just like so. And this is where we're going to keep our buttons. So we have our header for the menu, and then we're going to keep our buttons here. Okay. All right. So within this panel, I'm going to right click, go to UI, and we're just going to go to buttons, text mesh pro, and I'm going to copy and paste that uh, two more times. I'm going to go to panel. I'm going to go to add component, and we're going to do a vertical layout group. All right, and this looks familiar. Uh, what we're going to do is do a child alignment and I'm going to go down to mental center and I'm not going to change the button sizes or anything really uh, here. I'm just going to leave that kind of like it is. So let's see here and I might increase the spacing. Let's see if or decrease the spacing a little bit. Maybe it's like a negative 75. There we go. All right, that works. And then I'll maybe do that and then get it to where it's something like this. Maybe one. Yeah. That looks good. Uh, try to keep it as simple as possible. All right, so great. So now we have a canvas, we have a panel that has a background. So that gives us the ability to change this to whatever we want. We can go with the classic blue. We can keep it black. You can go with whatever you decide. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this black just like that. And then we have a text, which is our header. So make sure you name that. And then for this panel, um, I can just go ahead and name this uh, in game menu panel. All right. And then I'm just going to call this buttons panel. All right, perfect. And then of course we have our buttons. So what we want to do is go ahead and name these buttons. So the first one can be resume and basically resume will be simply us 
hitting going into our menu and if you decide to change your mind you go back to the game so i'm going to select that button i'm going to go into the text and i'm just going to resume all right perfect and then for the next button i guess we can do save that would be good so we're just going to go ahead and do save and i'm going to go ahead and put bt in on this one And then the last one, that's going to be, uh, let's see, we can go back to the main menu. So uh, return to main menu, we can type in that. Or we can just type in go to main menu. And then for the actual text, I can type in. And that might be actually too long. So let's see a better way to word it. So let's see, uh, quit. And quit would simply take us back to the main menu. So if you really want to quit the game, you would go to quit within the main menu. So, all right. So we have resume. Oops, we want to change this to save. And then we have quit. All right, perfect. All right, so there you have it. So you have a basic menu. So the actions that we want these menus to make um, are gonna be pretty simple. So resume is going to basically take us out of this menu and put us back in a game. Save is gonna call another panel with a save uh, information. So we're gonna be able to save our game and quit is going to send us to another scene. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what I'll do is minimize these. And in my canvas, we have this one in-game menu and that's all that's there. And so what I wanna do is on my canvas, I'm gonna create a new panel. Okay. And in this panel, it's gonna have a UI, some text right there. And just like that, I'm just going to put save game. And we're going to center this one the same way, just like so. All right. And for this panel, I'm going to go ahead and change, turn its transparency off and make the background black as well. All right. All right, perfect. All right, and so in here, we're gonna have a set of buttons as well. So I'm gonna to go to panel and I'm gonna right click and do a new UI panel. And I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize this. Now, of course you can put your buttons however you like. Um, in this case, for this particular set of buttons, I'm gonna actually make them uh, horizontal. So inside here, I'm gonna to go to UI I'm gonna to go to buttons and I'm gonna copy paste a couple more times. I'm gonna to to panel and we're gonna to go to horizontal layout group and we're gonna do a middle center. All right. And now you can make that smaller so your buttons fit. Now in terms of naming the buttons, we're gonna keep it simple. Uh, for right now, uh, we're basically gonna go to, we're gonna call this one load one, load two, load three. All right, perfect. And let's go ahead and name those respectively. So now we have those named and ready to go. And so the goal here with this particular um, buttons, remember that we created a load screen and uh, my apologies, I actually meant to say save. Some of you might've caught that. 
So let's go ahead and change those to save one. Save two. Save three. And we'll rename that as well in the other ones. So you remember what we did on the on the main menu where we had um, a load screen and you're going to load the profiles. But here you're going to save the profiles. So let me go ahead and change all these out really quick. It will all make sense here very soon. Game Creator makes it super easy to create a, a quick way to save your game. All right, perfect. All right, so we created our save buttons and we're good to go there. And we're gonna go ahead and name it. So let's go ahead and call this our save game panel. And this is just gonna be the buttons for that save game. All right, and so now let's do another panel and this panel is going to be our quit or going back to our main menu. So let's do that now. So what I might do is just go ahead and copy and paste the save game panel. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and rename it now. So uh, we're gonna just call it go to main menu. Just be as descriptive as possible. Okay, and then um, what we can do here is get rid of a couple of these buttons, or at least one of these buttons. And also change this, and we can actually ask the question, are you sure you want to go back to the main menu? course you can say whatever you want this is just kind of keeping it simple here all right and just go ahead and center that put a question mark all right and then of course save one and save two will not say that it will be yes or no yes and no and then we'll just change the text as well. All right. And that's called buttons and that's go to main menu. All right, perfect. So we have all of those there. Are you sure you wanna go to the main menu? Yes or no? And if you hit no, it'll just take you back to the actual resume or the in-game panel here. Now, save game. We could put a back button if you decide not to save the game. So let's go ahead and do that here. So not in the buttons, I'm just gonna put a button within this space. And what I'll do is I could just put it here for now. Of course, you can always put these wherever you like to put them. Now, let's see here. So we have that, we have the back button. We have our regular buttons for saving. We have our header. And let's see here, we have our go-to menu. All right, so we're looking pretty good here. All right, so in our next video, uh, what we're gonna do is get the buttons actually working. We're gonna get resume, so we go back to the game, we'll save the game and quit the game. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.